Sometimes people ask me, what do you do, Justin, when you're not hosting Best of Wisconsin restaurants? Well, the answer is I'm hosting Talk Wisconsin, where we talk about restaurants as well. And certainly today is no exception as we're here at Hegel Jamestown Park. And I'm joined now by Owen Foxcroft, manager and sommelier over at Rare Steakhouse. Owen, welcome to the program. Thank you very much for having me. I got to start off by asking, and I'm totally exposing my lack of culture here, but what does sommelier mean? Sommelier is a, a French word for wine steward. Uh, it is the best job in the world. Uh, not only as a manager of the restaurant, I am a curator of a wine list, close to 200 different labels, and my job is to speak with our guests and customers about uh, what wine would go great with their dinner that night. Okay, I've got to ask another follow-up question to that. How do you go? How does one go about curating wine for a <laughs> wine list? Well. Uh, first of all, our wine list, we did just receive a uh, 2020 Wine Spectator uh, Award for having one of the best wine lists in the world. Really? Um, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, well, thank you very much. <clears throat> I have uh, everything is stored at the correct temperatures. It, everything needs to be taken care of properly to ensure that that 10, 20 year old bottle is going gonna, is gonna to last and yeah. be delicious. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So let's, let's shift gears just a little bit here. Obviously, uh, restaurants in the Madison area and around the country, right, obviously are uh, bouncing back from this pandemic. In your mind, is there anything good that has come out of this? Uh, that's a, a really good question. And I, I like to try to look at the positive side of things. Um, when we reopened the doors, we had only, we only had four team members not come back. And it showed me how, how much of our staff is really dedicated to what they do. And it makes me very lucky as a manager because uh, a lot of the, the waiters, a lot of the chefs, they have been there for four, five, almost six years now. And it just really shown me how lucky I am and how dedicated our staff is to, to what they do. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah, you treat your employees well, obviously. Yeah, how long you guys I been open now? Uh, it was six years this past June. Okay, so when you say six years, I mean for the full it, run. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, we have people that open the restaurant and wow. they're still there today. Well, hopefully we can get another 60 in for you mm -hmm. guys here. So um, what sorts of things is Rare doing right now to keep employees and customers safe as they come back in to enjoy your food? There's obviously a lot that we have to do with this pandemic. Um, everything from, of course, staffs, staff members being masked and gloved. Uh, we actually, every shift we have people that all they do is sanitize. So yes, really? we have to pay somebody to go around and like, constantly wiping off the doors, the phones, anything that could be touched by multiple people. So there's quite a lot that goes into it, uh, but of course it's what we, what we responsibly have to do right now. I think I've seen a lot of businesses have literally had to add a position, like a full-time sanitizer Absolutely. essentially. Yep. Wow, wow. What would you say you missed most uh, during the time when your doors were shut? This is going to sound cheesy, but I really missed our guests. We have so many loyal customers who would come in, you know, multiple times a month, sometimes multiple times a week. Uh, and I just really missed speaking with, with all of them. So it's, it's nice having them back in the doors. Absolutely. Good to have those people and make those connections again and see people face to face or Absolutely. mask to mask as the, as the case <laughs> right? may be. You know, as we look across the pond, we can see parts of the other parts of the world are really beginning to recover from the pandemic. And we hope that we can get to the other side of this pandemic, uh, so to speak. What's your biggest hope for, for what do you see happening for Rare on the other side of this when this is all past? My biggest hope. Well, the, the thing that I'm looking forward to doing the most is hosting another wine dinner. We have wine dinners at, at Rare Steakhouse where we've had winemakers come from New Zealand, from France, from Napa Valley, of course. Wow. They come in, we, we pour uh, multiple different types of their wines and Chef creates a special menu all tailored specifically to pair with those wines. So I'm looking forward to having 50 people in a room again, all drinking oh. great wine and, oh. and eating great food. So hard yeah. to do with the mask on, I suppose, and keeping social distancing. Exactly. So yeah, we'll pray that that happens for you guys sooner rather than later. Before we head out to break, what would you say makes Rare special? Well, we do serve the best grade beef we can get our hands on. Uh, we get a lot of it sourced from right here in the Midwest. We have beef flown over 
from Japan uh, that is, is amazing, high quality. Um, but what really makes Rare special is our staff, our servers. I've eaten all over the world myself, and I can honestly say, of course I'm a little bit biased, that our staff will give you some of the best service that you can get anywhere in the world. And that in and of itself is rare, I'm going to tell you. So, well, Owen Foxcroft, thank you so much for joining us here today, and thank you for sharing some of your knowledge and expertise. We appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me. Don't go away. There's more Talk Wisconsin coming up after the break. Stick around.